The Moores Millions next up. Surprisingly, there's two of them this week. The Grand National, everything you think probably only be one, but this first one is quite a short one. It's only three miles and three furlongs, and it's quite low rated as well, naught to 120. So I doubt whether any of these would have got into the National, even with the distance. So games without frontiers at the top for Padre Hogan, Area Elliot, David Robertson, Witness Mischief, James Shane, Balladier Ivor. David Robertson, called Jonathan, Alex Cherry, Tower Hamlets, Graham Clutterbuck, keep the contract, Graham Beckwith, Chambry, Moulin, Alex Cherry, Tunisia, Matt Cooper, Demiris, Giza, Graham Clutterbuck, Penelope, Pitstop, Martin Lederman, Linda McMahon, Matt Cooper, 12 of them then in this one, three miles and three furlongs, away and racing, and Tower Hamlets, straight off into the lead, so Linda McMahon second, 21 fences to take this time. Oh, and he's crashed out right at the very first fence there, Tower Hamlet. So, Graham Clutterbuck's horse is out at the first. He's still got Damiris Geezer in it. And that's left Linda McMahon well clear. Into the second. Uh, Linda McMahon jumped that one nicely in second. Or oh, in first, sorry, now called Jonathan. He's in second. Penelope pitched up his third, then Game Without Frontier is next. Then comes Witness Mischief and Chambry Moulin. Then the Grey de Mary's Geezer on the inside of Keep the Contract. David Rawson's pair are towards the back area of it and Balladiera Ivor with Chu Nizzer in the Red Jacket Stable Companion of the leader. Also towards the rear, Penelope Pit Stop hit that one hard. Continues to hit them like that. We'll need to have a Pit Stop. But it's Linda McMahon who's got the lead then past the winning post. They've got two complete circuits of the track to go. And Linda McMahon leads into the fourth. All safely over it. Balladier Ivor just getting a little bit detached at the back at this relatively early stage of the race. There's plenty of time to make the ground up. Need to be too concerned just yet. This is a ditch number five. Not safely over it. Linda McMahon continuing to lead. Called Jonathan second. About five lengths back. This is number six. Not safely over sixth as well. David Robson's pair still the back two. Uh, swing out right handed now. Linda McMahon in front. Six lengths clear of called Jonathan. Then Demary's Giza the Grey's moved into third. Games it out front here in the yellow jacket is four. Then Alex Cherry's second horse, Chambry Moulin, is after that. Then Tunisia getting considerably closer. The electric fence has been turned off as they get over the next. And this is the eighth, the leader coming back to the pack a little bit now. With Linda McMahon in front. Demiris Geezer's moving into second. Called Jonathan is third. Then games it out front here and then keep the contract. Tunisia as they take this ditch. And a few pit stops now drop to the back as area Elliot is starting to make considerable progress through the field. Oh, Linda McMahon. Was left in front when Tower Hamlet fell at the first and has been on her own ever since. So number 10 nicely this time it was called Jonathan's turn to give the fence a bit of a whack. Keep the contracts moving into second. Demiris Giza third area and it is the one who's really made good ground into fourth. And games it out front here and called Jonathan. Tunis is also getting a bit closer now as well. On the outside is Chambry Moon and then Penelope Pit Stop with Witness Mischief widest on the track. And then Balladiera Ivor trying to cut through the inside has gone past a few there. And relegated witness, witness mischief to the back marker spot. And they're coming up past the stand then. they got one more circuit ahead of them. And they're all safely over that one. It'll be the last on the next circuit. Here's the winning post. 11 furlongs or so still to go. And Linda McMahon is the clear leader. Area, Area Elliot has now moved into a clear second. Demiris Geezer keep the contract and games it out frontier next. With Tunisia now closest to us, getting significantly closer as well. Penelope Pitstop has dropped to the back. 
as they get over number 13. Linda McMahon, stable companion Tunisia, is now second. And games it out Frontier Elliot, Elliot Demary's geezer called Jonathan. Paladier Ivor is creeping closer now as well. They're starting to all sort of bunch up behind this leader as they take this ditch. Which they all got over okay. Oh, anything out. It's still on its feet. Even Penelope Pitstop is close enough with a mile to go. And it's Linda McMahon who leads over this 15th. All safely over that one from Games It Out Frontier 2nd. Called Jonathan on the inside is 3rd. Witness Mischief now making some good ground around the outside with Keep the Contract. Penelope Pitstop starting to struggle at the back. Demary's Geese is also dropping back. Chambry Moulin has got a wall of horses in front of it. Over the 16th. Linda McMahon leads by just a length now as they head towards the next. Good jump there by the leader. Tunisia's jumped back up into second. Games it out Frontier third. Then Witness Mischief is after that. Penelope Pitstop is now tailing off and he's out of it. But it's Linda McMahon from Tunisia over this final ditch. Games it out. Oh, there's a fall on that, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Witness Mischief is gone. So Witness Mischief has gone there. Uh, that's all in all three out now, really, because Penelope Pitstop is tailing off. And it's Linda McMahon who's still in the lead from Keep the Contract in second. Games it out front. Here's his third. Then comes Tunisia. Balladier Ivor. Area Elliot coming round the outside. Then comes Cord Jonathan and Demary's Geezer is now starting to struggle. Let's keep the contract. Hits the front. Keep the contract with three to get over. Over this third last. Jumped it really well. Got away from it well. Area Elliot is in second. Then comes Games It Out Frontiers and Linda McMahon. And then after that one is Chambry Moulin running on. And Tunisia is trying to get into it, so too is Balladier arrived, we can pretty much forget the rest I think, they've got two to go, this is the second last, and it's Airy Rennett who jumped it the quickest, but Keep the Contract is still in front, Keep the Contract going well on the flat, Airy Rennett trying to fight back in second, back in third is Games Without Frontier, then comes Tunisia Balladier arrived, still trying to run on they've only got one more to take, and it's Keep the Contract who's clearing him by two Keep the Contract coming into this final fence looking like he's only going to jump, but gets over it nicely mistake by Airy Rennett, and that's put the race to bed it's keep the contract who's going to take it for Craig Beckwith in second is area ready then Tunisia Balladier the arrive after that game to that frontier Penelope pitched up pulled up and Demaris Giza was the last one to finish and Craig Beckwith gets himself into the winner's enclosure with keep the contract winning by a good five to six lengths area ready at second I don't think he'd have caught the winner, even if he hadn't have made that mistake at the last. Everyone, anyway, it was second for David Robertson. Tunisia Matt Cooper was third. Balladiera Ivor, or David Robertson again, was fourth. And games it out Frontier for Padraig Hogan was fifth.